had uh, sort of presented our viewpoints on multi-channel retail. And I would imagine that was uh, uh, early in days, you know, we had presented a case for multi-channel retail and uh, subsequently a lot of retailers came back to us and said that we would like to understand how to become a good multi-channel retail uh, player um, and several of FMCG companies also approached us on uh, this very topic. So we said let's in this year we will focus on the roadmap of becoming a good multi-channel retailer or FMCG company. So this paper focuses on the uh, roadmap, the strategy aspect, the operating model as well as the processes and systems involved in becoming a, a excellent or a great multi-channel retailer. So these are three things which I'm going to talk about and uh, you know the first thing is about the you know what is the business case for a multi-channel retailing and again I think it's very very clear now that multi-channel retail is the way forward whether you see it from the real estate standpoint real estate is extremely expensive it is uh, in contrast to uh, the world, I mean, if I look at mature market, their productivity versus rentals, you would see India, the rentals are very, very high. It is imperative to look at something which is non-real estate model, very clearly. The second point is that your width of assortment as far as the consumer proposition is concerned for retailer is only increasing. Your depth is increasing, your width is increasing, you require more space more inventory is uh, being blocked into the uh, uh, into the model so 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 how do you cater to that uh, issue as is digital or multi channel the way forward as far as uh, this point is concerned and third is of course the consumers are getting more and more savvy they are you know sort of uh, jumping from one channel to another and it's the norm of the day i would say you know you research on one uh, media uh, and you shop somewhere else and you, you know, uh, get serviced somewhere else, the pickup is somewhere else. So it's imperative for you to look into multi-channel retail for sure. And I think there are case studies which uh, very clearly highlights the, uh, the movement forward. India is just beginning to take place that way. Uh, you know, uh, there are people who have sort of uh, embarked on this journey, but, you know, I would say early days and, uh, and future perhaps in the next two or three years, we'll begin to see that. But in case of mature market, very clearly, uh, Best Buy is one example that, uh, you know, 60% of online store buyers are first of all researching bestbuy.com. 40% of total online orders are being picked in store, which is very, you know, great example of multi-channel retail. And uh, the online traffic is twice compared to the footfalls you're getting in stores. So very clearly, I mean, the online piece for them is uh, growing significantly as well as there is a very complementary role one is seeing between the online and the offline stores or the stores part per se. Secondly, in case of Best Buy, uh, you know, one is also witnessing that uh, the store area is also getting reduced. You, so what that means is perhaps not all the products are being stored in the uh, store. So it's available on net and maybe some of the products are not there in store kind of thing. So very clearly there is a case of multi-channel retail and you know the way forward is uh, some of the mature markets uh, which they have exhibited. And you know so while multi-channel is clear it is also important to understand the consumer journey, how or sh how he or she is shopping uh, throughout the channel. So starting with the, you know, the research part, the shop part, the buy part, the pick part and the service part and which channel plays what role it's important to understand and also provide a very integrated and a seamless experience. So important thing is one is multi-channel. The other important thing is to have a very integrated and a seamless experience.